Once upon a time, there was a nine-year-old boy named Michael from Greeley, who, like thousands of young Bronco fans, spent countless hours at training camp outside the lines hoping for an autograph. One day, Michael lost his hat on the UNC campus. That night, he ran into Bronco's assistant video director, Gary McCune. Looked like he'd been crying, and he, he was the most polite young man that I had ever met in my life. He approached me and asked me if somebody had turned in a Charlotte Hornets hat. The hat never turned up, so McCune went to the Greeley Mall, bought another one for the boy he just met, and gave it to him the next day at training camp. Oh, I, I can't take this from you. This is, this is too nice. I, I can't take that. I said, yeah, just go ahead and take it. And I said, hey, if, if your mom and dad have a problem with this, this is my business card. Uh, why don't you have them call me? I'd never really been exposed to generosity from like a grown man before. It was, it was kind of weird. McCune invited Michael and his family to watch practice inside the ropes the next day. And I think that's when Michael told him that it was just his mother. <laughs> just him and his mother. Donna McDaniel was a single mother who raised Michael by herself. And McCune eventually fell in love with Michael's mother. Yeah, she wasn't very friendly to me initially. She was kind of, she was still kind of skeptical of me. I'm not even sure if my, uh, my mom really liked him. He just liked the, she just liked the way he acted with me. You know, we were, we hit it off right from the start. McCune and Donna married three years later. A new family was formed and Michael became a member of the Broncos family. I remember, being five or six and just, you know, saying I have to be a Denver Bronco football player. I, I cannot, my life will not be successful if I don't play professionally. But then I, you know, as I got older, I started realizing that, you know, that was kind of a shaky, shaky dream. So then, like literally my dream came true, you know. Michael's a senior in high school now. He's a great student, played football at Smoky Hill and became a game day ball boy this season. He still has a hard time believing everything that's happened since he lost that hat eight years ago. I gained a stepfather, you know. I, I ended up moving to Denver, which became a much better situation for me. And it, I got to do my dream job. I, I kind of contributed to my mother's happiness, too, because she, she was single, too, you know, just like me. And we both gained just out of this one little hat on this. It was like it was meant to be. Just a great gift that any only child deserves to have.